Hello and thank you for joining our DAS video series. In part one of our basket orders video, we'll show you how to create and manage your own baskets for trade. Basket orders allow you to set up one or multiple predefined orders to be executed simultaneously in a group, what we call a batch or basket. You may also use these predefined orders to be executed at a later time contingent upon other factors such as stock orders or alerts which we'll show you in part two of our batch order video series. There are two ways you can create your basket of securities. One, by loading the symbols from the market viewer, or two, by loading stocks manually. Creating baskets from the market viewer. The quickest and easiest way to create your basket of stocks to trade is to load them directly from the market viewer. To do this, simply highlight the symbols you wish to create a basket of, do a right click, and select basket trade. This will prompt your basket window with your stocks loaded into a single basket ready for a trade. Each line you see here is a stock order within the basket. If you wish to make some changes to the individual stocks within the basket, double click on the roll to bring up the order box. Highlighting the stock and clicking on the edit button here will work just as well. Here you'll see all the fields you can make your changes to. As a note, Order name is given by the market viewer to help identify it within the basket. Be advised that you may change it to whatever name you want to help make identifying your stock orders easier. To continue with our example, I'll make a change to the volume amount and adjust it from 100 to 200 shares. Once I make my change, I click on update and you can see that the share amount has only been changed for SHLD. If I wanted to make a change that affected all the orders in the basket, I would do so by clicking on the header to the column and doing a right click. For example, I'll change the name of our basket from Market Viewer 4 to First. Once I'm done, I could either click on the Update button or hit Enter on my keyboard. A message comes up asking if it's okay to create that basket right now, so I'll go ahead and acknowledge by hitting Enter again. Now you can see that the basket ID has been changed for all the stocks in the basket. I can also make changes to other fields, such as the routes, by going through the same procedures. There are several keys below the batch window that give you different options on making changes to your basket of stocks. Reverse will quickly change your actions from a buy to a sell, or vice versa. You may also clear your basket of the current stocks, delete, or insert orders. Clicking on Insert will bring up the order box which will allow you to manually create your stocks for the basket, which we'll show you how to do in the next section. Once you've made your desired changes, your basket is ready for a trade. For the sake of simplicity, we've created just two stocks for this basket, but in reality, we could have just as easily highlighted more stocks and created a basket comprised of hundreds. Saving and Loading Baskets if you have a basket that you wish to save, click on the Save as Template button and give your template a name. For our example, I will call our basket Test1. Once I'm done, I'll click on Save. Now that my basket is saved, I can clear my orders by simulating a new trading session. With an empty basket, I will click on Load to bring up my saved basket called Test1. You can either type in the basket name or click on Browse to find your saved file. Once that's done, I will click on Load and my orders are loaded directly into my basket ready for a trade. Creating Baskets Manually To create an order for your basket manually, go to your basket window by going to Tools and selecting Basket. Once your window comes up, you should be able to see any current baskets of stocks here, if you have any. To create an order manually, click on the Order button and you can start to fill in the parameters of your order. For our example, I will create an order to sell a position in Microsoft at the market price. For order name, I will give it a descriptive name such as MSFT Sell. For basket name, I could name it first and add it to my existing basket of stocks, but for this example, I will create a new one just for this order and call it MSFT. I'll set my account. 
next fields, trigger and trigger type, are configured if I'm going to be using this predefined order in Microsoft to activate or trigger another predefined order or basket of orders. Since I won't be incorporating that into this example, I'm going to leave these fields blank. Please see part two, executing batch orders to see an example of how these orders are set up. Next, I will click on enable to allow this order to be sent. Action will be set to cell. Symbol, I will input Microsoft MSFT. My share amount, I will set to position. And my route, I'll set it to market. And finally, time and force, I will set to day plus. Now that my parameters are set, I will click on add to create this predefined order. A warning comes up advising me to make sure the stock is on the short list before execution of the basket order. I'll go ahead and acknowledge by clicking on OK. Now you can see I've created two baskets of stocks, one called First and the other one called Microsoft. Filter function. If I were to execute a long or short order right now, all the orders you see in the window would be sent for execution meaning both first and Microsoft baskets would be sent to the market. If I was interested in just executing one of those baskets, I would use the filter function here. Clicking on the filter function, you can see that I have several parameters to choose from. For example, I will filter my stocks to bring up the basket called first. I'll click on the do filter button and only the basket called first now appears in my window. Once I'm done with the filter function, I can click on done or click on the filter button with the X to close it. Thank you for joining us for part one on how to set up basket and predefined orders. We hope this video has helped in showing you how easy it is for you to create your own baskets for trading. Please join us for part two of our basket order videos where we focus on executing the basket trades. Once again, thank you for joining us.